still ain't ran out of luck. I still ain't ran out of luck. Still ain't ran out of luck. Still ain't ran out of Still ain't ran out of gas in my butt. I still need more than enough. I still got bitches more than the fuck. Still ain't ran out of luck. Still ain't ran out of luck. Good, everybody. How's it going? It's your boy Jovenel. So. Today we're going to finish working. I have uh, connectors to put back on, sensors to put back on, uh, grounds, uh, everything, the ECU. So, so where I'm at with the engine right now is, um, I got one of the oil lines, which is this one, that goes all the way to the back over there. All right, so where I'm at with this motor right now is I'm starting to put all the wired harness and all the connectors in its right belong, uh, its right place. Um, right now I'm working on the ECU. So I already got these two connected. I got the bottom one connected down here and Pretty basic and simple. It basically goes in order. I put this grommet back in this place right there. Now that's it for the ECU. Like I said, I'm gonna get my ECU tuned, but as of right now, I'm just going to test to see if the car will start. The rest of these connectors, I don't know where some of these go. Uh, missing, I gotta look for the two bolts that go over here. I don't know where this goes. So there's a couple of spots, a couple of um, places I don't know where some connectors go to. So I gotta take my time and figure it out. All right, people, so I'm gonna show you guys where I left off at. Like I said, I did get my, um, air intake which is right here I fully not fully installed it but as you can see put the coupler the polish I like the polished chrome look I um, got the hoses in its right spot uh, this one is for the oil catch can so that's why that one doesn't have anything on there and then I mounted them both right here in both spots and now where is the box right here is the air filter but with this air filter I'm just gonna use it for right now but um, I will be buying a K&N air filter but, but this one will work for right now so I am going to install it right now. See if I can do this with one hand. Okay, there it is. So I'm gonna uh, tighten it up. All right, to complete the air intake install, we're gonna be adding this mass airflow sensor, which goes right over here. They already supply you with bolts, so we're gonna put that on right now. All right, so where I'm at with the engine. Okay, people, so where I'm at with the engine is basically all I need to do is just buy me spark plugs for the for the uh, engine. Finish connecting this. Uh, I need to finish connecting the um, oil catch can. I need a longer hose, but other than that, everything's all good. All right, people, oh shit, a bee. I purchased some um, spark plugs, tra two trailing, two leading, and I purchased some oil. I purchased some cheap ass oil because uh, I want to get all the bullshit out of the oil. If you guys get what I'm saying, like, and when it runs, then I'm gonna, you know, clean it out with a thicker oil, 1030. 10W30, that's gonna be the oil that I'll be using. 
but right now I'm going to be installing my trailing and leadings because they're right there. So the bottom is leading. The spark plugs are now in and connected is right here. These were the old spark plugs. This one was cracked. I don't know how. It looked like it looked like the spark plugs were in good condition. It's just that it's just dirty right now. But I didn't want to take the chances and also this one is cracked so I said F that. Let me just buy new ones. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting some oil inside of the engine. Like I said before, right now I'm just using this cheap ass oil that was like $5. And what I'm gonna be doing is cleaning the end, cleaning all the residue and stuff that was inside of the engine, like bugs. Also, I'm doing it for the coolant. Uh, as you can see, the coolant, I just added all water in there. When I turn the car on, let it sit for like a couple minutes. I will then, I will then change it out with the water wet. Which I sh didn't think I showed you guys, but right here, this is what I'm gonna be using as coolant. I might just uh, buy another, one. probably two more of these. They're like, I think 30, $40. They're, they're expensive, so that's why I wanna make sure everything is cleaned out of the cooling system and everything is cleaned out out of out of the engine and then we're going to uh refresh it and put uh 10 10 40 i believe inside it for the oil and use water right over here so right now i'm just going to be adding this all right so i started getting ahead of myself so i need to record this so right now i'm working on the roush fan the wiring as of right now, I got one one of them done, which is right here. This is a greenish and black. I connected the green to the blue and the black to black. So now what I'm gonna be doing right now is connecting this side, which is also blue and black. And I'm gonna connect the blue to the red and the black to the black. And we should have the fans working now because these are the fan the, the fan wires from the OEM OEM right here that's what I'm working on right now all right so both uh, fan relays or both fans are connected on this side and this side so we're done with that um, So what I'm gonna be doing is trying to try to tuck as much wire as I can over here. So big thank you to Justin at T-Rex Performance. He gave me these three uh, relays for free. So I appreciate that. Right now I'm gonna put those on right now. All right, so I put all three of them in. So now the next thing I'm going to be doing is Going underneath to remove the, I'm going to be removing the neutral safety switch on. So I could try starting the car up because I still don't have the parts I need for the clutch line and, and um, the clutch line and the clutch master. So clutch master cylinder. So we're gonna be removing that right now.